Stephen, thank you so much for joining us tonight and singing our songs with your wonderful soul and heart. Coming into a band that's been together for 18 years is not an easy task, right? Would you do that? Well, then you're crazy. Please, a big applause for Mr. Stephen Lebrie. Thank you, thank you so much. It's wonderful being here in Cincinnati. It is such an honor to be here tonight to celebrate the life of Carlos Marin, such an incredible artist with such a unique voice. And it's such a privilege to share the stage with Il Divo. And we're very happy to have you with us, Stephen. By the way, I've known Stephen for quite some time at this point, and I can assure all of you that he really has been making a big name for himself in the classical music world, singing, leading roles in opera houses all over the world. Yes, but there's one thing I don't like about him. <laughs> What's that? He's very young. Yes. <laughs> well, actually, exactly the same age as we of us were when we started with Ildi Boy eight yeah. years ago. Oh my God, so you're even younger than what I thought, right? <laughs> but jokes aside, it's a great pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thank you so much. Thank you. decided to put this tour together, apart from choosing the songs, we believed it was really important to remember Carlos, not only through his music, but also through the wonderful memories he left us. So I'd like to tell you a little story, I'm trying to make it as short as possible as a French I can do. <laughs> well, I don't know if many of you know, but the reason I'm part of this wonderful group Il Divo is because of Carlos. Yes, in 2003, he got me the audition. Did you guys know that? No. Please say no. Thank you very much. Well, back then I was living in Paris and I was asked to write some songs for a musical. And I met Geraldine back then, who was his partner. And she told me all about this band that Carlos was in, a crossover band, and they were looking for a pop singer. So, I gave her my phone number. And it's only a few hours after that that I got a call from, like, just like that, actually. Oh, oh, oh hello, this is Carlos. <laughs> Do you want to be in the band? He said that with a sexy voice. Even lower, but even with me, he did that, imagine. And then he said, you know, I've been told that you're a really good singer. Can you please sing something for me? And I was over the phone with him and I took the piano and I started singing something really badly and we started to laugh. And instantly we had an amazing connection, really. And he said, okay, muy bien, gracias, hablamos. And only a day, the next day, actually, the record label got in touch with me and they set up an audition uh, in Paris at the Opera Bastille where I got the chance to meet David Miller for the very, very first time. Yeah. We didn't have gray hair then. Uh, well, he doesn't either. Um, but then, you know, David Miller didn't look like that at all. He had like huge long blonde hair and uh, earrings, but like Christmas tree type of thing, you know? <laughs> and like, cowboy boots, like, yeah! I wish I had a picture, no kidding. <laughs> he tried to say something, but it didn't work. Anyway, it's not a bad thing. Are you trying keep to do like keep animals going. outside? Keep going, keep going. Okay. <sighs> so a week after that, we all got together for the very first time in London, and the rest is history. Wow. 
Helps, I can't thank you enough. You have made my dream come true. And without you, I would not be standing on this stage. I can't tell you how appreciative I am and grateful. You raised me up. And I really, we really miss you now. A lot. My <laughs>